Well, joining us now from our Westminster studio is Clive Betts, MP. He's the Labour Chair of the Communities and Local Government Select Committee, which, of course, was quizzing Mary Portas uh, this afternoon. And a very good evening to you, Mr Betts. Um, is Bill Grimsby right, do you think? Has Mary Portas been overly nostalgic and foolish in her recommendations to revive the high street? Well, I don't want to get into uh, the war of words that's going on between uh, uh, two people who've got very strong views about our high street. What I would say is I think uh, actually having that uh, very frank dialogue uh, has, has raised the profile of the high street and concerns around it, uh, looking at empty shops, which you can see all over the country, uh, and a recognition that something needs to be done. So uh, a major challenge to, to government and politicians in all parties. Right, uh, and, and, I, and I actually think the argument months, going on is, is helping that. Pardon? Uh, you've been saying that for 18 months. You talk about raising the profile, she's helped to do that. Has yes. it been nothing more than a PR stunt, her appointment? Well, I, I don't think so, because we discussed this afternoon a lot of uh, very important issues to do with uh, uh, planning permissions and business rates, and they're two things that the committee may, may well want to come back to, because we didn't think a lot of progress so far uh, has been made on those issues. So, You're right. Uh, I mean, uh, she put forward 26 yes. recommendations. I yes. think the government's taken up two. Why well, so few? Well, no, the government would say, that, that, and I don't want to defend the government, that's not my job, uh, that they, they did take up a lot of of the recommendations. What Mary Porters did say, however, is that there aren't quick fixes to these problems. Uh, that many of these solutions are going to take long time to work through. Uh, they're going to take many years to come to fruition. So it isn't about simply saying, oh, we've got a list of recommendations, put them into place, give the pilots, uh, the, the pilots that have been created £100,000 uh, and their problems will be solved. Uh, I think what she also said was that uh, pilots are uh, really just that. They are about testing out new ideas, trying to see what works. In some cases, you will spend money and things won't work and there are lessons to be learned as well. She says there needs to be more joined up thinking across the yes, government and she, she needs did. the support of people like you, even though you're, you're Labour, not the Conservatives. She well, also it's, a, says it's an all-party committee. It's an all-party right, committee. Right, fair enough. Yes. I understand yes. that. But she says there should be cross-party support. Yes. She also says there should be a minister for the high street. Is she right? Do you think there should be one? Well, uh, very often you get a, a complicated problem and the answer is to appoint one minister to deal with it. Uh, not necessarily the right answer. What you do need is different parts of government to work together uh, and sometimes they don't. So but I think they're she, not, she, are they? Well, well, what she said this afternoon was there are, there are issues around which clearly she didn't feel were getting a proper joined up thinking from government. And uh, I still think there's a lot of work to do on this. Uh, there's a select committee report going to come out of the business select committee who are looking at the, some of these issues. Uh, and we certainly from our select committee, I think we'll come on later on and look at the, the planning issues and the business rate issues, which are, are very important issues which government can actually lay a framework and agenda yes. for. And she was saying to us, to our select committee, Mary Porcel was saying this afternoon, if government doesn't get those sorts of issues right, then all the initiatives in the world at local level may just not have any effect. And she's not the only person, Bill Grimsley. In actual fact, many, many other retailers think the big problem is business rates. So what pressure are you going to put on the likes of Vince Cable to get business rates reviewed and then brought down? Well, at this stage, I'm not going to put any pressure on because we haven't actually considered that as a select committee. We've heard Mary Porters this afternoon raise those issues which we want now to give consideration to. As a select committee, to give consideration, we'd want to have evidence from a whole range of individuals, the, uh, consumer groups as well as retailers, as well as other people who have business interests in the high street, uh, as well as councils. Uh, okay. we, we'll, do, we'll do that in a few months' time. Right. Uh, and th then if we do find there's a general agreement on a way forward and business rates is a key problem uh, to solving the issues of the High Street, then of course we'll make recommendations about that. And Clive Betts, what was the last thing you bought in Sheffield City Centre or do you shop at Meadow Hall? No, I, I go in Sheffield City Centre most of the time um, because my office is in the city centre. Uh, that's where I go to work when I'm in my uh, constituency. Uh, and so I, I regularly shop there uh, in, in local shops. I was in the local sandwich shop the other day buying birthday cards there, uh, going into the local co-op. So uh, this morning I went in to get some dry cleaning from a local store. Okay, so quite, quite a few best. things there too that I've been involved with Sheffield City Centre in the last few weeks. Thank you very much Thank for you. your time tonight. Thank you.